today I introduce to you the Pomona panel. I've been working pretty hard on this thing. I've been super busy doing other life stuff that I haven't been keeping up with a lot of video stuff, but I've been working feverishly on this. A lot of stuff I've been doing hasn't been real great for content, like working out why the brakes aren't working. Stuff that you might like to see, but it takes like days to work through that stuff. So right now, I'm just gonna show you the Pomona panel, show you what we did to it, let you take a look. I'll give you all the specs on it, so let's go. All right, you guys know some of the story about the Pomona panel and pieces from the Kennedy Brothers out in Pomona, California. We bought it, uh, let's see, spring of 23. We were out there for Trog and over at the Kennedy Brothers at an open house and they had this thing in pieces in a semi-truck trailer. No lights, couldn't hardly see it. Looked it over, thought about it, looked it over some more, dug through the pieces to make sure everything was pretty much there. Um, Jay uh, assured me that uh, he had most all the parts so I said let's make a deal so we did and I bought it and ended up we got through with our pre-war pileup car show on June uh, first week of June maybe fifth and sixth I think last year and then on the 9th we took off for LA for the LA Roadster show and the the whole point was to build a chassis get the chassis built before we left and haul that out there and work on the Pomona panel while we were out there. So you guys have seen a little bit of that. Well, I've showed you the videos of that before. Um, we'll throw a little bit in here so you can see what we had to do, but it was literally a one-to-one -one scale puzzle piece that we had to figure out. My good friend Jacob came from Springfield um, and Mike, he rode with me out. There. All right, you guys know some of the story about the Pomona panel and pieces from the Kennedy Brothers out in Pomona, California. We bought it, uh, let's see, spring of 23. We were out there for Trog and over at the Kennedy Brothers at an open house and they had this thing in pieces in a semi-truck trailer. No lights, couldn't hardly see it. Looked it over, thought about it, looked it over some more, dug through the pieces to make sure everything was pretty much there. Um, Jay, a assured me that uh, he had most all the parts so i said let's make a deal so we did and i bought it and ended up we got through with our pre-war pileup car show on june uh first week of june maybe fifth and sixth i think last year and then on the ninth we took off for la for the la roadster show and the the whole point was to build a chassis get the chassis built before we left and haul that out there and work on the Pomona panel while we were out there. So you guys have seen a little bit of that. Well, I've showed you the videos of that before. Um, we'll throw a little bit in here so you can see what we had to do, but it was literally a one-to-one -one scale puzzle piece that we had to figure out. My good friend Jacob came from Springfield um, and Mike, he rode with me out there. So we hauled the fresh chassis and motor out there and got it all put together those guys they they worked tirelessly through the whole week i was just going and getting pieces and parts and and touching up paint and doing brake lines and little stuff like that and they were assembling the body on the chassis that we hauled out there so here it is let's take a look guys this sucker is a 34 ford panel truck so it's Basically, from here forward, it's truck. From there back, it's a whole lot of wood and sheet metal. So, we are not completely finished with it as of yet, but uh, I'm gonna give you a rundown on everything we got here. So, we went with uh, wide fives, uh, 39 wide five wheels. I have, I'm running the V860s in the front, the three and a half, and a four inch, I believe, in the back. And we've got the hydraulic brakes. The only thing we had to find was the headlight bar and a good friend, Justin Boss, out in San Diego had the headlight bar for us. He didn't know he had one, so we went down to look through his stash and there it is, we pulled it out of there. So that's the one, he donated that one. I wanna shout out to Justin. Justin, thanks for the headlight bar, brother. It's uh, went to a good home. So, 8BA motor, this was pulled out of a F1 pickup that was restored um, and then they ended up coyote swapping that truck so 
we got the motor from a friend that got it from the place that did the coyote swap and we didn't do anything to it all we did was change out the spark plug wires put a rebuilt carb on it and a 12 volt generator from pre-worn more so that's pretty much it on the motor headers and exhaust we did the headers and exhaust we have my buddy john Payne welded up some two and a half inch stainless exhaust down through there that comes out right there no mufflers on that so uh he did an excellent job on that it sounds great the body so this is pretty much just a wood structure you can see in here that uh, there's a lot of wood in there and then the the outside is just it's kind of like the early t stuff where it was a wood structure with the sheet metal tacked on um it, it is a lot stiffer than the model t stuff was but uh, that's pretty much the premise of these they were built they were outsourced somewhere else by another company that was just making them out of wood so we've got a little bit of paint we i tried a little bit of uh engine paint some duplicolor black you know you guys know i like that stuff that's semi-gloss and i touch i squirted that little corner just to test it see what it looks like and i kind of like it my plan eventually is to paint the cowl and all around the the windshield all that and then paint the fenders black leave the running boards are silver like the inside and then paint the splash front splash pan there so but this has I don't know if you guys can see it. You might be able to see it better on the other side, but it's been painted over. This section has been painted over. So they brush painted in here. But it says RL Blevins Plumber underneath that paint. And I think I can probably wet sand that and get it back down to uh, the original writing or the original sign paint. So I'm going to try to do that, but I'm kind of, I'm a little bit skeptical on whether I should do that. Cause I kind of like it like it is now that I've washed it and got all the dirt off of it. It really looks pretty, pretty clean. So I really like it. Let's check out the interior. Understated interior. It was brush painted at some point, silver inside for whatever reason, along with the running boards. So, uh, we just kind of kept it clean and sanitary. You guys have seen the dash. I put the Stuart Warner gauges in there. It's got the original steering column. We were running a 36 um, transmission because we had one handy and uh, running the stock pedals down there. We actually have a, a master cylinder. Jay ended up having a template for a, a bracket that mounts underneath the X member that mounts the master cylinder back here. So you just run a rod off the uh, brake actuator or the equalizer and it runs the master cylinder, no problem. Bench seat. Okay, you guys, you guys know this one. I've got a video on that. That's a Dodge Caravan bench seat. We narrowed it two inches in the middle and then pulled the sides in one inch on each side to get it to fit in there. And then uh, I've got some side skirts that go on there that I haven't done yet. So I'm still getting her done. 750s on the rear, 550s on the front. We like that setup for the uh, old school hot rod look back door the barn doors look pretty cool i snagged a 34 california plate off of uh, jay's son at this uh la roaster show swap meet and we're still working on this guys so just hang in there with me silver paint on the inside like the front they actually silver painted the inside of the wood too here this panel over here um they redid a lot of this i i think there was some rust in that area so they cut that out and I've got to patch that still, but they replaced all this wood on the floor. I sanded it, cleared it, stained it, and all that. Put the cover over the the gas. I've still got still got a major sunroof. All the new cars have that. So my buddy Don is my upholsterer. He did the seat for me. He's going to do the top also. So we uh. We're just kind of clicking along. I've got the inner panels that bolt in here. I haven't put them on yet because I kind of need a second set of hands to keep from scratching the wood because I want to I want to try to protect that as much as I can. But uh, this is pretty much how it was. I need to put a little insulation in here. I'm going to end up doing that at some point and blocking that off behind here. I like the, the runners. I like those showing because it looks kind of cool. But... Uh, that's kind of the plan is to do that and 
brush paint the silver on the top up there. We're running a stock 3334 axle with 411 gears, so it's uh, it runs really great. It's a little bit a uh, little bit on the slow speed because uh, you know it kind of racks it out at about 45 or 50, but um, man, I love this thing. This thing is so cool. We ended up dropping a spare tire. We took a, a spare tire mount off of my 36 two-door, which was wide five, but that car had been converted to the small Ford pattern. So I used the center with the with an original chrome bracket and uh, got that mounted up, put a front wheel in there. So if we have flat on the rear, it's gonna have a little bitty on the back there. <laughs> but that's the hole I was talking about. I think they may have had some rust in that area and that's why all the wood was replaced you can see it's they coated all the wood with some kind of a primer or something so i'm going to patch that we're going to blend that in a little bit of that black and see if we can make make it kind of match a little better but a little quick walk around open this door real quick so it's uh just nice and clean had a little heater you saw you guys saw my 12 volt heater conversion video that thing works i ended up wiring it up like original so i'm using the column uh, the column drop key switch and then i've got a push button up here on the dash and uh, everything is pretty much just like what we got let's see if you can see the lettering if i can see it it's hard to tell but there's a v right there this is, uh, you can see right there is a little bit of red paint and right here is a little bit of red paint. So that's where the lettering was at. It's, uh, I might be able to see it right, right there is an R. You can see the R pattern, R, L, and then Blevins across there. Kind of hard to see, but I think I can sand past that with a little bit of wet sand and, uh, Joe Kennedy gave me some, um, used thousand grit i think and two thousand grit and a couple of blocks and he said just sand through it that two thousand grit will make that paint look like this up here which will make it match once i get done sanding it so i'm gonna try to get to get through to that probably not gonna be um very quickly so um i'm gonna take my time on that and really think about whether i want that to show or not because once you take that off, then it's no longer black and it's got the lettering on it. That's the only bad part. And if I don't like the lettering, then I'm just like, Ugh, what do I do? So anyway, that's the old panel truck. Do a little quick walk around here in the front. It's a uh, man, it's killer. I really enjoy it. It runs really well. It uh, the temperature it runs at about a 180 and uh, man it uh, it's a little peppy peppy little truck so I'm really happy with it front axle let's uh, tell you about the front the front axle is a 32 heavy that's been heavy dropped and filled and then we you guys saw the video on the front shocks we got shocks on there with F1 mounts so we kept the stock wishbones. It's kind of like, this is what I like about these cars, is so much of the early Ford stuff um, converts over to other years. And you can pretty much bolt these together. This one was pretty much a bolt together. I mean, we're utilizing earlier parts like the 32 axle, but it's the same as a 34 axle uh, dimension wise. So you can put it right up in there. You can. With the 32 axle, you can put on 39 spindles, which is what this one's got. And then you can run the 39 brakes and the wheels and tires. And it's just, that's the best part about working on these early Fords is just this. No, you don't have to engineer it. The only thing that has had to been engineered really on this is the brake pedal. And Jay had a template for it, so it was so easy. And to make the motor mounts... You know, this would have came out with a 21 stud, but to do the motor mounts, I just put the transmission in the stock 
mounts and then centered it up here and welded on some biscuit mounts on the frame so and then everything just kind of fell into place and you can see i didn't even have to adjust it and i've got like maybe three quarters of an inch from the fan to the radiator it's just like it works so well stock radiator hoses connect up super easy i mean it's just so simple everything fell right back into place I didn't even have to change anything in here for the transmission other than I had to notch the bottom of that tin right there to go around that raised spot. So, I mean, everything just kind of fell into place. That's kind of what I like about working on these is that it, you're just bolting stuff back up. That 36 trans and that that's a 51 F1 pickup motor, 36 trans, 33 rear end. It all bolted up and it's the right length. It's just like, that's so super simple to work on these. Not a whole lot of engineering because when you start engineering, having to engineer something that's not been in here to go in there, then you start to lose steam because you don't really always know what you're doing. So I like this one. I like the way it turned out. It runs really great. That's about it. We've wrapped her up. For, uh, we're going to the pre-war pileup this weekend, so we're going to take the panel truck and get it up there and show it off, and then we'll keep working on it when we get back, and we'll get the top put in it, and we'll do a couple other things, try to get the paint matched up, and patch that hole on the other side, and we should be good to go. We should be golden. That's the Pomona panel, guys. I hope you guys like it. Hit the subscribe button. And follow along on Instagram also, Chadlack Designs. And you can keep an eye on what's going on and what we're doing. So, thanks guys. Like, share, and subscribe. Check you later.